We have a lot of opportunities to develop robots that can go into new environments, such as underwater. We can increase the level of mobility of those robots. We can work with them to have increased hand dexterity. Right now with Robonaut, there are a number of things that the robot can do, but just increasing the number of activities that Robonaut can perform will make it just tremendously much more valuable. Valkyrie is another humanoid robot that was developed by the Software and Robotics Division, and it was developed to participate as a part of the DARPA challenges. So the idea with, with Valkyrie was to just continue to develop the activities that it could perform. The RoboGlove was developed as a joint effort with GM to provide increased hand strength. A lot of times when the astronauts are performing activities that require a lot of strength, a lot of grip, the RoboGlove just gives a lot of additional um, effort behind that. And so there are a lot of applications for on ground as well as on ISS with GM activities that are very difficult to do and require a lot of strength that can keep you from having some of the side effects of carpal tunnel, that kind of thing. The countermeasures equipment that we have on board ISS is to provide resistance and keep the astronauts from losing bone and muscle mass while they're on board ISS in a microgravity environment. Right now, we are working on a project with Shell to help them uh, look inside their separation tanks that they have underwater. So those separation tanks, once they are done using them, they want to decommission them. So they need to understand what sort of uh, material is in those tanks. So we have worked with them to develop a prototype for a robot that can be put down in those separation tanks and guided through them to evaluate what the contents are of those tanks. So there are some really great opportunities in our future. There are so many opportunities for the future development of robots, both on ISS and just in the world in general. 